this is Shamim Khan from IPU Television. We are marking the 136th IPU Assembly. It's indeed a deep pleasure and huge delight to have in our studio now His Excellency, Honorable Member of Parliament, Mr. Francis. A very warm welcome indeed. Parliament being the face of the people, the voice of the people, how exactly are you going to redress these issues? Well, at the end of the day, it goes back to us that what are we just doing about some of these things? Give me, let me give you an example of women, uh, uh, women empowerment. We shall not just empower women by talking about it. We will not empower women by, say, uh, giving them positions. Say you, we have 40 members of parliament who are led, uh, female, or we have 50, or we know we are in the right to, to get to parity. For me, it's about empowering women. So that they are empowered to compete, not just be given. Absolutely. Now, once they are empowered, and they, they get into positions which they have competed for, uh, following empowerment, then at the end of the day, you have a population of women who can negotiate. That they use their numbers, they use their power, they appreciate it, and use it to negotiate for what they deserve as, as, as female. The challenge I've seen in most states is that uh, you have people who say, we have given you. So at the end of the day, you also find some women leaders making mistakes. They are praise singing. Our president has given this. Our prime minister has given us this. It's a right. It's not a privilege. So also, how ladies also look at it, that, uh, yes, emancipation is a movement. The numbers, the quality, the potential of the person yes. should be looked into. Yes. Uh, absolutely, yes. You, you'll go to where you have 50% uh, uh, women seats maybe in parliament or even in government, but even then the, the, the women are not yet powerful. Not skilled. You, you've got a situation whereby right. you, you even have 80% women representation, but the 20% is still oppressing the 80% just because they are just being allocated. They are not empowered. Look at young people. I come from Africa. Most of the African uh, states are uh, characterized of young populations. 70% are young people, 80%, you know, very, if, if you, you come to, to Uganda, my parliament, 60% 60, 60 are below 35 years, you know, in parliament. But the young people, first of all, they are many, so they have the numbers, they are the most exposed, they have this uh, media, you know, they have gone to school. They are most energetic, but they are complaining of oppression. So how can the, the majority, the most exposed, the most energetic, complain of oppression? It's because they are not appreciating their poten potential and harnessing it for negotiation, for development, and uh, so they remain uh, complaining, you know, and to me, that is not where I'm coming from. Right off from when I was nine years old, I set out to fight for justice. I set out to fight for uh, um, fairness and equal opportunities. And that's why I'm, I'm in politics. I mean, I'm not in politics because I enjoy it. I am actually not a politician. I only find myself in politics because I think it's a platform for me to fight for justice. And that is why I really am happy that we as IPU are talking about human dignity, that we are talking about in, uh, uh, ending inequalities, not just talk about it, sugarcoat it, but that we go and act.